okay now. From the beginning. Join us at the Park Plaza Boston for DBDC, July 25 through 28, 2024. Welcome to Dance Beat Presents A Cheeky Chat with Chris Johnston. And today I have the one and only Mr. Elaine Doucette here. Elaine, I saw your absolutely gorgeous wife first thing this morning. Wow, that's great. She saw you too. She yeah. saw, yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> and now I see you. How the hell are you? I'm great, actually. You know, uh, life is good. Uh, pandemic is gone and uh, we're having fun and uh, traveling quite a bit. Dancing is starts to be back the way it was to be before the pandemic. So it's great. No, great life. Um, as always, you're not competing anymore, but how are you staying in shape? Actually, you know, uh, good question. I'm staying in shape because of my son. My son uh, is a bit like me, a bit competitive and everything. <laughs> so uh, we play hockey. Uh, uh, beer league uh, two times a week and we play golf four times a week so lots of sports so we just keep in shape you know the family is good the family is always outside always playing always competing doesn't matter what we do it's a family of competition wow well as I say like look at it both you and Anik you still look like you did when you were competing which is that's crazy. crazy you know no, that's crazy really you know you look at we look at ourselves and everything, and everybody talk to us and say, you haven't changed. I look at myself, I, I do feel that I have changed, you know. I used to play four games of hockey a day, and now once is enough, you know. So I did change, I did change. Okay, so talk about your career. Yankee Classic, obviously you were here quite a lot. What are your sort of memories of this event? What do you think of the Yankee Classic? Actually, the Yankee Classic is one of our favorite competition that we were uh, doing straight after Blackpool. Uh, and there was a lot of European couple co coming to uh, the Yankee Classic because of Andrew and everything and Judy. Uh, we just love the competition. Uh, always been a pleasure, always been different. Don't know what was it, but it always been different. Just the ballroom, just the ballroom, just the ballroom that it's set not often like that. There is nobody on, on, on that long wall and judges on the other side. There's not many competition that are like that. So sometimes I remember when we were dancing Latin and you turn around and there was just judges and there was no audience. So it's been, it's, it, it always has been. And that's something that always loved. I mean, there was only two sides and you have to dance for those two sides. It was just unbelievable. I just loved it. It was something special. And this year it is something special as well because we have a full ballroom. And if you saw me doing this, we're in the back hallway because there's no space in there. And people, even though I've put up barricades and barbed wire, they still seem to climb over it and want to come in here. It must be you, Elaine. It must be me. It must be me. Definitely not you. Definitely, oh, no. Definitely not. Definitely not me. So, in Canada. Are you still involved with competitions? Yes, of course. We still do uh, Le Chic. Uh, so it's coming up in November uh, this year. Uh, you're asking me the date and I'm like thinking about it. <laughs> I, mean, I hope my wife told you about the dates because she's the one organizing it. No, not really. Nope. It's uh, I think it's the first weekend of November, but I have to check. Don't post it before I said <laughs> I will not say a word. <laughs> <laughs> about that. Uh, I'm, I'm glad the wife's gonna kill him after this. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Oh, it is crazy. Well, you know, because of the pandemic, we haven't done the competition in Montreal for a little while. After that, we moved from November to uh, April. We did it last year in April, and now we move it back to November this year. So it's been, and now, um, we have dates that has to be apart from competition and all that, so it's kind of confusing sometimes with the dates. So, but it's only a one-day event; it's not a two-days event. So, but sometime in November, 2024, <laughs> La Chic de Danse. La Chic de la Danse. La Chic de la Danse. Okay. Hey, man, I always have a brilliant laugh when I talk to you. 
love to, I just love it, you know. There's only one thing missing in our hands, but... Yes, it's a little bit early for that. Well, you know, it's 12 o'clock somewhere. It, it, yes, 12 o'clock at night somewhere. Okay, we are going to get the next plane to Singapore, and then we will all be back to see you uh, later. Guys, if you want to know what's going on in the ballroom dance world, log on to www.dancebeat.com. Elaine, as always. Thank you so much, Chris. Cheers.